everybody. Today I bring you a CVS beauty haul. I've got actually a few kind of random non-beauty related things and a lot of really cool finds. One thing that I went in really hoping to find and I fortunately did are the new um, Milani Matte Lip Creams. It ticks me off that these are limited edition because it's like these would be such a great addition to their regular line because I absolutely love the consistency of these. First off, I'll let you know I'm wearing this red one. This is called Romance, and then I also picked up the one in Embrace. I really, a lot of times, seem to enjoy the deeper shades of these matte liquid lipsticks. They had a nude in this line that I was close to getting, but I thought, you know, a lot of times the lighter shades can just look pretty darn drying. And they had some medium shades that just didn't seem all that unique, but these two I just really wanted to go after. And what makes these different from the various kinds that I've tried is that they are like a true liquid. They really start out super duper thin, but they're really pigmented. So not thin and like watery, like you gotta work to build it up on the lips, but just, you know, a thinned out, very pigmented liquid lipstick. <laughs> liquid lipstick. I think that's a great characteristic of something like this that's going to dry matte because when they're thicker, it's not like that thickness does anything for you moisture-wise anyway. It, it can actually kind of make the lips feel a bit more uncomfortable. And I'm always trying with these liquid lipsticks to apply the thinnest layer possible because I think that makes for better staying power, more even staying power, and just a better feel overall on the lips. So I am thrilled with the way this looks. I mean, it's so matte. It totally dries. So just like the ColourPop ones, you know, it's not going anywhere. And you know I am so pumped to um, try out the berry, kind of berry purpley shade that I picked up also. Given the way this one went on, I wish I would have picked up more of these. Like, I'm so impressed. If you find these, definitely try a couple of them. Another thing that I'm wearing that I'll talk about real quick, I was just looking at the NYX display. Um, a new thing for my CBS is that they're carrying NYX now. Not like as full of a range as you would find at Ulta, but they've still got quite a few items. And one thing that appealed to me that I was like, oh, do I not have this one yet? It's this um, nine color shadow palette in Merci Beaucoup. And it is a beautiful range of neutrals plus the money shades right here for me. I love this red. Um, it's kind of interesting because it's not like a super burgundy red, but it's actually kind of, I don't know, there's more red to it. And a really nice peach, bronzy golden shades, um, a couple of really nice dark shades. So I am wearing that on the eyes today. I've got some of this on the lid, these two shades in the crease, um, and I kind of smudged this bronzy shade just on the um, lower lash line. Also some of this brown. This is a really creamy, nice, um, kind of warm matte brown. So that's a great one to have in the mix. Oh, bub. Nice. Yeah, it did, doesn't transfer off. Nice. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Have a good day, bub. Um, love. Love. I might need you to pick up a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> I know in my big like NYX product review video, I talked about all the new things. This, I believe, has been in their line for quite some time. Just a little bit smaller palette, still great color variety, just under $10. So if you like neutrals plus, you know, some reddish colors, this is a fun one. Also, I wanted to try one of these NYX baked blushes. Actually, on the packaging, it says baked blush plus illuminator plus bronzer. Um, I'm not sure what that's about because it even said that on like the really, really like rose blush toned shades, but I got this in the shade Chiffon, and I am wearing it today. I'm not sure what it's doing for me exactly. I've got a little bit of highlight on with it, a little bit of Mary Luminizer. This blush is like, to be honest, I think it's barely showing up on me. It looks pretty in the packaging, and I was just thinking, you know, if that turns out to be really pigmented, it might be one of those cool, like, subtle blushes, but it feels very dry to the touch and then that's kind of the shade. So I don't know. I, this is really just my first time playing with it, so I'll have to use it some more. But one kind of indication is that if the blush looks that sheer in a, you know, swatch where you're going like that, rubbing on it for a while, once you shear that out on your cheeks, it's gonna be even softer. Now, as soon as I walked into the store, I saw a display of like EOS lip balms, some generic like EOS type lip balms, and these from CoverGirl were like right in 
in there with it. It's the Lip Slicks Smoochies from CoverGirl in Midnight Melon. It has SPF 15, you just twist off, oops, <laughs> twist off the top and here's what you have. So it's basically like an EOS lip balm just in like a squatty, I don't know, cylinder type packaging. Smells amazing. Really smells like kind of a watermelon type scent. Um, I don't know that this has any color really on the lips. I was wearing this yesterday and I didn't notice much and now swatching it, I can't really see anything. But yeah, it smells so sweet. I smell it as soon as I like take the top off. I can really smell that. And they had, I think like two other flavors also. Haven't really worn this enough just yet to have a real solid opinion on it though. Something I have already had and reviewed on the Express channel is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum. Um, this is something that I have been using kind of like a night cream basically. It's serum and moisturizer in one is kind of the way it behaves but I'm figuring in time I'm probably going to want a little more moisture than that on my skin and guess what I found. They have the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream so it's just in the same like kind of line up as this stuff, um, but an actual night cream. So I guess it comes in a little tub here. Have not used this yet, but this is the way it comes. And it says helps soften and renew the look of tired skin overnight. I am just a big fan of the CeraVe products. I have had really good luck with, you know, the hydrating cleanser. Now this cream serum, also the eye cream. I think it's called the repairing eye cream. And so this stuff has like a little, ooh, a little sub cap there. And can you see how thick that is like it's not gooping out anywhere it's just really yeah it feels very thick very hydrating I'm excited to try this and I also like they're just the regular moisturizing cream in the big tub that's great for just you know kind of spot treating various dry areas wherever they might be on your face or body but I've got high hopes for this product gosh this is like a true haul I haven't done a real true haul in a while I feel like they always turn into reviews because I've waited a while after the haul and this is like stuff I just bought yesterday so you're really getting the first taste of everything here. I am starting to run low on my Vaseline spray and go lotions. I have both the cocoa butter and the green bottle which I believe is an aloe scent so I wanted to try this kind from St. Ives. This is the fresh hydration lotion. Um, it says coconut milk and orchid extract and I started putting some of this on yesterday but it's that lotion that you go boop boop and you just spray it on. I do really like the scent of this. It's a little less coconutty than I was imagining. You know, I'm getting a little bit more of a fruity, maybe even floral vibe out of that. I guess that is the orchid. I was putting this on my legs yesterday. I thought it seemed really, you know, lightweight, but what I did put on seemed to kind of pack a punch moisture wise. I guess the question will be, is this more hydrating than um, the Vaseline options that are out there? So we'll try it some more and let you know, but this says fast absorbing, non-greasy, 100% natural moisturizers. Now something I've purchased over and over and over over and I needed a new one for my diaper bag. Does anybody keep mini hairspray in their diaper bag? <laughs> my Tresemme Trade 2 hairspray. This is really the best stuff. I actually, as I was taking things out of a purse and trying to get my diaper bag all packed for um, the wedding we went to this past weekend, I somehow left out the hairspray and it just kind of reminded me, hey, you might want to pick up an extra one. So this is just as good as like the big can. It's just a nice mini can, great for travel. And this really is just my holy grail type of hairspray period. I don't feel like I have to use a lot of it. And I don't really use a lot of styling products at all these days, but a light amount of this will usually do what I need a hairspray to do. So love that. Now outside of the Milani lip creams, these are probably my most exciting find that I have to share with you. And I was not expecting to see these at all. And when I found them, I thought this is genius. Why have I not seen something like this before? They are these get the look flexible hair bands from um, the scrunchy or scrunchy brand. Um, and basically they're wired. The little tails on this head wrap, look at her. You know, she's got it wrapped all the way around her head. And then your little like bunny ears that you have here, you can make them go like any which way you want. I love that. Cause sometimes you kind of want them poking straight up. And then other times maybe you want them to lay down and be a little more tame. And using just a regular bandana can be kind of hard to work with. But this I think is gonna be so fun. I am certain you will see me wearing this in in a future video and I will let you know like how it was to work with. And this wire seems to be very thin, very flexible. You know, it's not like you're working with something super stiff or something that might get uncomfortable like on your head because 
it is wired all the way through. I've actually got to just try this right now. So let's see, let's undo it. It's all wrapped around. Anytime I wrap my hair up in a bandana, I put my hair totally up first, and then I kind of have a little more control where the bandana type thing is concerned. So here I'm just gonna like twist it a little bit, you know? Like I don't even feel the need to tie it. I'm just gonna like crisscross that a little bit. Okay, there's my ends. Oh, I think that's so cute. I think this is just a great little innovation here. And I like how it's being worn in the picture as well with a bun. But wait, you guys, <laughs> I also saw this. This one here is a bun wrap. So I can have something cute like when I put my hair up and they only had like two styles in this one was like blue and white and then I definitely had to go with the uh, black and pink polka dot but much shorter but how cute will that be because I'm always throwing my hair up into a bun and now I'm gonna feel like way more stylish with that little thing so yay this is so exciting and because I apparently can't stop with the hair accessories I thought this was really cute this was in a like a little side display there was this Mia brand and they had all these different hair accessories and this is the little um, denim bow. It's got one of those big old clips in the back, but I thought, you know, that would really match anything and it would be kind of cute if you were wearing your hair half up or cute, like clipped right onto a bun. I don't know, I'm kind of into it. And this is so comfy because I really didn't have to like yank it so tight, you know, like I might tie up a bandana. It feels like nothing on there, but I've got this little bow just how I wanted it. Another thing I grabbed, you know how I'm always talking about the Equate Daily Facials Cleansing Cloths? They are the dry um, cloths that actually have sort of a soapy substance in them, but it activates when you get it wet. So it all suds up and lathers up once you, you know, run it under the sink. So I'll grab the Olay kind if I'm somewhere where that's the only thing available. Whenever I'm at Walmart, they, the Equate Hydrating Daily Face Wash Cloths are sold like two in a package, and that's what I always try to get. A lot of drugstores don't seem to make a store brand of this particular item, but now CVS has, and so I wanted to pick those up and try them. They are the CVS Pharmacy Hydrating Daily Facials. So in here will be a pouch of how many? 30 cloths. So I'll try those out. Hopefully they don't like irritate the eyes. That's sometimes something I run into with the generics. Um, not always with the face wash cloths, but the face wipes. Um, Equate has been great. Equate has been great. So we'll see how these go. All right, now we're really veering off the beauty path here, but still staying somewhat connected. These sticky notes. <laughs> I had to get them, little lip sticky notes. These were in like that dollar bin type section. Set of three, 30 sheets in each. So yeah, um, and then I got up to the front and I didn't realize I had grabbed two. So when I set them down at the cash register, I'm like, um, I don't know that I need six of these, but I didn't really want to like go put it back at that point and they were just a dollar. So I'll share these with friends and family. <laughs> I needed a couple more of these little long skinny trays and they actually had these. There's two in a pack, they're a dollar. These fit nicely in my Ikea storage here. And I've been asked like, how do you store your double ended brushes. This is how I store them. So like this one from It Cosmetics, or I just keep it out and let it clutter my space. But for the most part, I just, you know, lay them down in there. Or, you know, you could store regular brushes this way. You could store like eyeliners, shadow sticks. These are just a nice size of organizer to fit down in your drawer. So you can always use more of those. In the winter, for the most random item in this haul is this Trident Layers Swedish Fish flavored gum. I was wanting some gum because I feel like my sweet tooth is just fired up lately and I think like maybe if I choose some sugar-free gum you know that'll satisfy me maybe we'll see but this is uh, I got a three pack of it and the gum is like this I have one opened up downstairs uh, it says berry and lemon I don't know, I, I used to be big into Swedish fish in college. I went through a major Swedish fish phase and um, these don't taste anything like it. Like if somebody just gave me a piece of this, it would never occur to me that it was Swedish fish. I can kind of taste some lemon and you taste the lemon not when you first put the gum in, but as you chew it more, I think it's got like some of that flavor, crystally type stuff in it maybe that makes you taste that more. But it is kind of oddly breath freshening, you know? It's kind of cool. I don't hate it, but I wonder who decided like, hey, we should make Swedish fish flavored gum. 
But wait, now I'm getting confused. The Swedish fish that I always knew were only red. Like, that's the only kind I've ever had. And then they're showing a Swedish fish here that's yellow. Are there multiple flavors? In which case, maybe this does taste like Swedish fish since I haven't tried other flavors of it. Um, I've only tried the red. It doesn't taste like red Swedish fish, I can assure you of that. So that is my haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun. Um, I would say the most exciting items, those matte lip creams from Milani, and these fun little, like, wired headbands. Definitely look for these if you're in CVS. That's the only place I've seen them. Let me know if you've seen other styles, other places, because I am definitely down for getting some more of these. So have a great day, you guys, and I will see you again next time. Bye!